After more than 30 years and 130 flights, NASA's space shuttle fleet will retire this year, leaving the United States dependent on a Russian crew vehicle for crew transportation to the International Space Station until the next generation of U.S. space vehicles is ready for flight. As one means of addressing this gap, NASA is stimulating the development of a commercial space industry capable of providing NASA with access to the International Space Station and low Earth orbit. While NASA has more than 50 years of experience developing contractor-built, government-owned space vehicles, the agency has never purchased transportation for its astronauts aboard a commercially developed vehicle. Of primary concern in this new model is how NASA will work with its commercial partners to ensure that commercially developed vehicles meet the agency's safety and human rating requirements. In the audit released today, the Office of Inspector General examined NASA's efforts to modify its existing safety and human rating requirements to make them ap applicable to commercial developed vehicles. We also evaluated the overarching challenges associated with certifying and acquiring commercial crew transportation services. In sum, we found that NASA is making sustained progress toward acquiring commercial crew transportation services, but faces significant and time-sensitive challenges. These include clearly articulating to its commercial partners as soon as possible the requirements NASA will expect from commercially developed systems and the process NASA will use to certify such systems. Striking the appropriate balance between insight and oversight in acquisition mechanisms to provide NASA with sufficient information to certify commercial systems while still leaving companies the maximum flexibility to innovate. And expanding coordination with the Federal Aviation Administration to avoid the potential serious business impacts that could result from issuance of inconsistent standards for transporting government and non-government passengers to low Earth orbit. NASA agreed with our findings and in its response stated the agency will seek to address each of these challenges as they move forward. The OIG's full report can be found on our website, oig.nasa.gov.